What is the best way to find out? Can you apply herbal remedies to cure cancer? The answer is, unfortunately, no. Not even in the most radical of ways. It's not that people don't know that herbal remedies can be very effective, it's that the subject is too broad for them to consider. The subject is too broad for them to consider the possibility that there might be some value to using herbs as a healing approach. The trouble with relying on herbal remedies to treat disease is that they have not been adequately studied. Most clinical trials have not been completed on medicinal herbs. In the rare cases that such studies have been completed, they reveal little or nothing about the value of herbal medicines to the medical community. There are very few rigorous double-blind trials of medicinal herbs. That's because the government doesn't like to pay for them, and pharmaceutical companies don't want them because they have to pay for them. The result is that we are left with this confusing and potentially damaging situation. We have traditional medicinal herbs. We also have herbal medicine. And we have chemotherapy and radiation therapy. The question whether herbal medicine cure cancer? Obviously it cannot. But are there certain types of herbs that can increase your chances of surviving an attack against cancer or ward off its onset? The answer is yes. There are four herbs that have been studied extensively and shown to have a positive effect in many clinical trials. Those are Boswellia serrata, also known as burdock, red clover, white clover, and dandelion root. In addition, each of these herbs has an antibiotic, blood pressure, cholesterol lowering, and antioxidant characteristic. So it's not just a question of Boswellia serrata against cancer, it can give you more chances of cancer attack. Boswellia serrata was used by Native Americans long before modern medical research revealed its cancer-fighting ability. Today, it is one of the top herbs used in medicinal preparations. It inhibits the growth of tumors and destroys abnormal cells. Red clover is another well-known herb that has been used for hundreds of years. Clinical studies have shown it to destroy the cancer causing free radicals in our bodies. White clover is used to improve the immune system and may help prevent cancer and other diseases. Dandelion roots are another highly medicinal herb used both medicinally and naturally. The antioxidant qualities of the dandelion root prevent cell damage and aid chemotherapy treatments which are sometimes ineffective against cancer cells. The most famous brand of herbal treatment for cancer dandelion is available in the U.S. under the trade names Nature's Best Herbal Remedies, Garlic Actives, and Mother Nature's Own Energy. Although dandelion root can be found in some foods, it is extracted directly from the flowers of the plant. Although there are a number of herbal medicines available to fight against cancer, there is still no proven treatment that will eliminate or reduce the tumors or their disease progression. This is why patients who are prescribed chemotherapy treatment are usually advised to take these herbal medicines even before the chemotherapy starts. The combination of natural treatments and chemotherapy treatment is usually a better strategy than conventional therapy to cure any form of cancer. Scientists have developed many pharmaceutical drugs that can be used to treat most kinds of cancer. However, these drugs may not be able to target the tumor completely and kill all the cancer cells inside the body. It may also cause side effects that are much worse than the disease itself. Research has shown that there is only one drug that has been able to completely cure various forms of cancers. This particular drug is known as GCMA and is manufactured by a company in New Zealand. Please note that this is only for educational purposes and must never be substituted for professional advice. Whatever you do see your doctor for professional advice.